Hi guys, welcome to Sim Captain. It is Saturday, March 14th, and it is the Memphis Madness event. We're currently in Nashville, so we're going to fly over to Memphis. Grab the checklist. And master switch is on. Alternator master is on. Nav lights are on. Panel lights as required. Avionics master is on. Fuel quantity. We just took on fuel. We have 3,231 pounds, which is more than enough. Um, circuit breakers are checked. Doors are closing. Doors closed. Lights are out. Passenger briefing. We'll imagine this is a repositioning, so we're empty. Engine start, parking brake is on, rotating beacon is on, fuel Cut pump 63, is on, throttles are idle, zero, cut nine, we'll clear left and right, bleed air over to number two, number two is turning, let's get, let me call real quick and we'll get our clearance, number two is turning and two is on the rise, ITT is on the rise and I'll open the fuel valve. Good ignition. Bleed air back to normal. Starter switch selected to ground. Let that engine stabilize. Temps and pressures look good. Everything's in the green. Memphis Center, exec jet 482 at Nashville. Looking for IFR2 Memphis, please. Jet jet 42 in the center. You can get Nashville over 118.4 for your clearance. 18 thanks. Oh, Nashville signed on. He wasn't on a moment ago. But that's good. Uh, good evening, Nashville. Exec Jet 482 looking for IFR clearance to Memphis. Good evening, Exec Jet 482. Nashville approach. Advisement ready to copy. We're ready to copy for Exec Jet 482. Extra chat 482, you are clear to the Memphis International Airport while the Daniel 3 departure of speaker transition then asphalt. Maintain 4000, expect flight level 2405 minutes after departure. Departure on this frequency is Quark 1003. Alright, to exact jet 42, we're clear as file to Memphis via the Daniels 3 speaker transition. We'll climb to 4,000, expect flight level 240 in five minutes. Departure is with you, Squawk 1003. Exit jet 482, read back is correct. Start up at your discretion, call for taxi, and let me know if you want to send or to right. Okay, we'll give you a call for taxi, Exit jet 482. And let me know to send or to right. We'll let you know. All right, let's get number two started. Bleed error. Is over, starters engaged. Uh, I mean, not number two, number one. Number one is turning. N2 is on the rise. ITT is on the rise. Good ignition. Bleed air back to normal. Star switch selected to ground. Uh, I don't think there's an ATIS available here. 1351, but we'll check, because he did sign on. Let's see if he put one up. No, I don't know, but I've also have a, been having a hard time receiving ATIS frequencies. I don't know if my number two radio is working properly. All right, um, clock is running, both engines are on. Temps and pressures look good, everything's stable. Transponder, we'll put in mode Charlie. Autopilot, he said uh, 4,000, 250 knots below 10, flight director is on. Altimeter is the local setting. 
Gear selector is down, lights are tested. Peter heat's on, de ice is on, flaps are set for takeoff, trim is set for takeoff. Kettle alert as required, vertical speed read zero, airspeed indicator read zero, get our ground and taxi clearance. And we got weather moving in to both airports, so my frame rates are going to get clobbered with a lot of traffic and bad weather. Hopefully it's not intolerable. All right, let's get our taxi clearance. We are currently at Signature. Well, he wanted to know what runway we wanted. Zero six four at five knots. And uh, Memphis Exec Jet 482, we're at signature, ready for taxi. Exec Jet 482, uh, are we heading to center or to right? Let me know. I will take to center for Exec Jet 482. Exec Jet 482, runway to center taxi via Tango 4 Sierra. Alright, uh, runway to center. Via Tango for Sierra for Exec Jet 42. We'll call you hold short. All right, taxi lights on, brakes are released. Gotta get rolling here. We'll test the brakes. There's left brake, right brake. Brakes are tested. Heading indicator turns properly on both sides. And any aircraft operating at Marshall Information India is current. HS is up on 135.10. Alright, so he says there's an ATIS available. ILS and visual approaches in use. There we go. Simultaneous approaches to parallel runways in use. Spoiler test. Advice on initial contact. Full deployment. You have information in India. We'll retract. Light extinguishes. We'll listen to the ATIS on the way out. Flight controls are free and correct. Reversers. Two are unlocked, two are in reverse, and two are stowed. Let's get the ATIS and then we'll do a departure briefing. Isn't overcast. Temperature minor. Dew point seven. Altimeter three zero two six. Three zero two six. Landing and departing runways two left. Two center and two right. ILS and visual approaches in use. Simultaneous approaches to parallel runways in use. Advise on initial contact. You have information, India. Nashville International Airport, eight piece information, India 2343 Zulu. When 060 at 5. Visibility 4. Rain. Mist. Few clouds at 900. 3,300 scattered. Ceiling 7,000 overcast. That's for post off with 292 with information Altimeter India. Clearance to and departing Houston Hobby. Good right. evening, Southwest 2292. Flash will approach. Advice on ready to copy. All right, we have India. We're ready to copy uh, for 2292. Southwest 2292, you are clear to the Houston Hobby Airport via the Daniels 3 departure. Daniels transition on asphalt, maintain 4000 to expect flight over 3805 minutes after departure. Departure is going on on this frequency, squawk 1002. Yeah, my friend, Houston Hobby Airport, I'll uh, maintain 4000, stay flight over 305 minutes after departure. Departures with you. Squawk 1002, also that's the Daniels 3, Daniels transition. Southwest 2292, read back is correct. Push and start at your discretion. Call for taxi, you can expect runway 2, right? I expect 2, right, we'll call you for taxi. Southwest 2292. Alright, departure briefing. We're going to be departing runway uh, 2 center, which is 8,000 feet by 150. We have plenty of fuel, 3,100 pounds. We're going to climb straight out to 4,000 and expect radar vectors um, to speak. Uh, any 
failure before VR, we're going to abort and stay here. Any failure after VR, we're going to, with the exception of fire and loss of directional control, we're going to go airborne and return here to Nashville. Uh, v speeds today with our fuel are V1 is 128, rotation speed is 135, and V2 is 138. We'll climb the blue line. We'll expect a normal departure with standard callouts, and uh, that should conclude our departure briefing. We got the ATIS. This phone should be under one hour, that's for sure. I forget what I filed for, I think 48 minutes. An aircraft operating at Nashville. Information Juliet is current, wind 1105. Seven, altimeter 3025. Landing and departing runways to left. To center and to right. ILS and visual approaches in use. Simultaneous approaches to parallel runways in use. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Juliet. All right, Daniels 3 departure. Nashville International Airport, AP information, Juliet 2353 Zulu. When 110 at 5. Visibility 4. Light rain. Mist. Few clouds at 600. Ceiling 5,500 broken. 9,000 overcast. Temperature 9. Dew point 7. Altimeter 3025. Altimeter. Landing and departing runways to left. To center and to right. ILS and visual approaches in use. Simultaneous approaches to parallel runways in use. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Juliet. At Nashville, Exec Jet 482 uh, with Juliet will be ready for departure of runway 2 center. Exit jet 482, wind 110 at 5, fly runway heading after departure, runway 2 center, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, runway 2 center, we're clear for takeoff, exec jet 482. Alright. Altimeter is local setting. Nav radios are set, comm radios are set, Peter heat's on, the ice is on, the all damp is off, star switches are continuous, fuel pumps are on, flaps are set, trim is set, time and fuel is recorded, tower clearance, threshold's clear of landing aircraft, tax lights are off, landing and strobe lights are on. We are ready. We'll just spool them up 40%, temps and pressures look good, everything's in the green, advance to take off power. Take off power set. Airspeed's live. There's 80. B1, rotate. B2, positive rate. Gear up. Wow, frame rates are getting crushed. Gear up selected. Gears in transit. Runway heading. We're climbing the blue line. 400 above the ground. Flaps are coming up. And yaw damp is engaged. Flaps are up and indicated. Stable climb. Altim <laughs> Autopilot's going on. I was going to say altimeter. Exit at 42, we're climbing through 2,000 for 4,000 runway heading. Exit jet 42, radar contact 2,100, turn left heading 080, cloud maintain 15,000. 
Left turn zero eight zero up to one five thousand exec jet four eighty two. Left turn zero eight zero and up to one five thousand. There's one five. Turn zero eight zero. I have to wait, or it'll try to bank the other way. Cause we're doing like a full three sixty here. After takeoff checklist, gears up, lights are out. Flaps are retracted and indicated. Yaw damp is on. Autopilot is checked and set. Altimeter is the local setting. Above five, here we're climbing through five now. I can turn that pump off. Starter switches go to flight. And then climbing through ten, we'll turn the landing light off. Sorry, I don't know what. Exit chat 482, proceed direct, big carry when able. Uh, Exit chat 482, could you say again? Direct, big carry, don't turn back to Nashville, make a right turn to big carry, big carry. Okay, direct to big carry for Exit chat 482. this chasing thing it does. Climbing through 10, landing lights are off, logo lights are off. Now if my frame rates were that bad in Nashville where I don't even have scenery and there wasn't a whole lot of traffic, there was like one or two other planes, the weather just bogged it down alone. Memphis, where I have scenery and there's going to be a lot of traffic, is going to be terrible. It's not raining, it won't be so bad, but I looked on the radar and it looks like it's raining. Let me pull up the airport, METAR, K Memphis, MEM. Yeah, 0, 0604 knots, 6 statute miles, rain, broken. View zero at 900, broken at 2,100, overcast at 2,800, altimeter 3022.
approach southwest 2292 with Juliet Road taxi. Exit at 42. Uh, could you give us that frequency one more time? Oh no! Did he lose comps? Jet 42, can you flash me that message one more time so I can see it? One three five point nine. The Memphis Center, Exec Jet 42, we're with you. One five thousand. Exec Jet 42, Memphis Center, Roger. Climbing saying five level two two zero. And does 5 level 220 work for your final, or do you want to continue on up to 5 level 240? Uh, 220 would be fine. We'll climb, maintain 220, exec jet 42. Alright, we're climbing to 220. The autopilot will just run the engines into the danger zone. It's crazy. Uh, how is there not a limitation? Expect areas of um, light to moderate precipitation between you and the Memphis Airport. If you need any deviations of us. All right, Exact Jet 42. Thanks. Yeah, we were just looking at the radar ourselves. Exact Jet 42. Are you in it now, or are you on top of it? Exact Jet 42. No, we're we're well above it. Roger. Thank you. One to go. Let's see, I need the eighties frequency for Memphis. And the VOR is one one seven five. I pick up for sure. 140 out from that. 
Betis. 127.75. Double check that real quick. Control air captain frequency, hazardous weather information, get back to segment 63, central of 0157 for Arkansas, Texas, and Oklahoma, concerning an area of the better thunderstorms, federation of open high loss and flight service frequencies. Wow, that was difficult to read with that background noise. Oh, we're getting a good ride right now. Exactly okay, direct to L Town for Exactly 42. You got a lot of background noise there. Exactly 42, how about now? All right, you're readable for Exactly 42. 96. 96. to L Town. I don't know why I started a little descent there. I had a moment of confusion what I was doing. L Town. Activate leg. Why does it want to turn the wrong way? That's bizarre. Sixteen minutes. Where is 
L Town below 16 and about 14. So let's see if he gives me a uh, vertical navigation instruction. What oh, things get away from me? That's the overspeed warning. Your plane's so slow, it's ridiculous. The buildups are starting to catch up to us. Fed at 42, descending via the blues to arrival, Memphis is landing north. Alpha uh, 3022. I will descend via landing north 3022, exec jet 42. Kind of unavoidable, but I'll be descending into this weather. So, L Town. We need to be below 16, above 14. Well, make it 15. Center, good evening, Southwest 2292. Checking in. 12,600. Southwest 2292, Memphis Center, climb 18, flight level 230. 230 for Southwest 
Southwest 2292, Frederick Small, Mill Dior. Alright, there's uh, flight level 180. Alright, direct uh, Sierra Whiskey Bravo, Southwest 2292. 3022 is the altimeter. Zero two three is what it's set to, but that's close enough. We'll also get closer. Now after El Tel should be Dapple, Dasic, Clerk at ten below ten above eight, two hundred ten knots. Dasic is below eleven. Above nine. Chop here going through the clouds. Southwest twenty two ninety two, connect Memphis center one three three point six five connect. I'm like the only one coming from the east. Well, that's not true. But I'm the only, I'm the closest one coming from the east. Executive 482, just want to give you a quick pyro up below 16, you get into moderate chop. Executive 482, thanks.
right, we're level at 15. Descent in range. We're uh, 65 nautical miles out, so we're close enough. Below 18, we have the altimeters in local setting. ATIS, we've picked that up. We have Bravo. ILS and visual approach Double check is that hasn't changed. Report scenery in use on first contact. Operate mode C on taxiways and runways. Simultaneous approach is to parallel runways in use. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Bravo. All right, no change on the ATIS. Nav instruments, we're tuned in to Memphis. I'll double check it. Memphis verified. Typically 452, turn 20 degrees left vectors sequence into Memphis. And for now, just maintain up to 240. You're just going to be a clearance momentarily. Flight instruments are checked. Nav 8 is identified. Please repeat. Chuck 52, turn Wait. 20 degrees left of vectors, entry spacing into Memphis, and maintain flight level. Uh, actually, dis disregard, silly. Okay, we'll disregard Jet Blue 52. We're sorry to be top. We heard Jet Blue, but another call sign number. No worries, sir. Stay by. All right, uh, we're waiting for a runway assignment. W52, turn 20 degrees left, maintain flight level 240, and I'll have a descent, I'll have a descent via here in another two minutes or so. Okay, 20 to the left, and uh, maintain 240, Jet Blue 42 contact Memphis approach 1258. Approach on 258 for exec jet 42. We're switching. Good night. Good evening, Memphis approach. Exec jet 42 is with you. Level at 15,000 with Bravo. Exec jet uh, 42, Memphis approach. Thank you for Bravo. You can expect the ILS approach. Runway uh, 36 right. You need to delete the speeds on the arrival. 36 right, delete speed restrictions for exec jet 42. All right, well, that's cool. 36 right, now we have our runway assignment. 36 right. Enter. Load. All right, that is programmed in. Get the chart out. Three six right. Okay, frequency is going to be one 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 point three five. Approach course is going to be three six zero. Okay, so let's review the approach chart. Crossing altitude is going to be 3,000. Minimums and decision height are 200. Missed approach is a climb to 1,000, then a climbing right turn to 5,000 via heading 070. And the Memphis Vortac radio 040 to Orku intersection. Orku, Orku, I don't know. I never know how to say these. I don't know how anyone knows how to say these. Uh, to that blank intersection, Memphis 15 DME and hold, continue climb and hold to 5,000.
So that's the approach chart reviewed. Uh, at or below 10, put the landing lights on and the logo lights. So now we are going to dapple. Oh, we need the approach chart or the arrival procedure. Uh, dapple. Below, I'm sorry, Marcel. 20 miles. I need to be below 12, above 10, so we'll make out at 11. Like we're like the lead airplane, and there's a lot of planes inbound, but we're the closest one, it seems like. Well, they're closing in. I'm gonna get busy in a hurry. But there's nobody really ahead of us. One plane. I don't know if you can see this. So we are this airplane right here. That is us. And this guy is probably ahead of us. No, no, he's not even going there. I only guess that just because we were landing to the north, so I figured he was down making the turn. But we're going to get in without any issues, so that'll be nice. Speed restrictions are deleted, so we'll just keep our speeds up. Because, uh, let's see, at l -Town, we should have slowed to 280. Well, we can't even, that is our maximum. And then uh, Marcel, which we've already passed. No, we have not passed. We're going on our way to Dapple. Marcel's next, 250 knots. Then Clark is 210 knots. I can hear my dog doing something bad. He's chewing something, or he's got something. He romps around when he has something. And I hear him going back and forth. Want to go? Marcel to Dasik. Dasik below 11, above 9. And we'll just continue with that on down another 1,000 feet.
It's awfully quiet. Boy, oh boy. Temperature 1-1. One, one. 2.10. Algebra 3022. Here comes the dog. Landing runway 9 36 left and 36 right. Hi. Departing runway 9 36 left and 36 center. ILS and visual approach is in use. Report scenery in use on first contact. Operate mode C on taxiways and runways. Simultaneous approach is to parallel runways in use. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Bravo. Still no Just change. Hit, uh, 482 traffic at your uh, one to two, 12 to one o'clock and seven miles uh, out of exit uh, 5,000. You'll be crossing underneath you on the departure. Uh, exec Jet 42, yeah, he's probably in the lair. I'm not going to be able to see him. Yeah, very well, sir. Yeah, I know it's high far out there tonight. All right, uh, approach. Well, we're at 10,000, so landing lights and logo lights are going on. Marker beacon is on. Star switches are continuous. Uh, landing lights, fuel pumps, altimeter. I'm not gonna turn that fuel pump on yet. I'll do that closer to landing. All right, now we're going to Clark. Clark below 10, above 8. Next is Dingle. Dingle below eight, above six. Don't put seven. Exit jet uh, four eighty two. Descend unrestricted. Maintain three thousand. Unrestricted down to three thousand. Exec jet four eighty two. 3,000. Good evening, Memphis Center, American 1641, with your 5,000 feet. Uh, American 1641, are you with Memphis? Roger, American 1641, just departed. Proceed direct to Timus. American 1641, register you are radar contact on and maintain 16,000. Contact Memphis uh, final approach 120.9 or 2. Final approach on 120.9 or 2 for exact jet 42. We're switching. Good night. Yeah, good evening, uh, Memphis approach. Exec jet 42, we're with you descending through. Going to be 7,000 for 3,000 with Bravo. Set jet 482, Memphis approach, Roger. Alright, localizer and glide slope are both alive.
Yep. Descending in the six, we're in the soup. Hopefully we can get below this layer. Right turn two seven zero, exec jet four eighty two. Established clear for the ILS 36 right, exec jet 42. Exec jet 482, 160 knots or greater to McGee. 160 or greater to McGee for exec jet 42. We'll just maintain 210. Localizer is captured. Frame rates are definitely suffering, but it could be worse. Set Jet 42, contact Memphis Tower, 119.7. Have a great evening. Over to Tower 19.7 for Exec Jet 42. Thanks a lot. Good night. Good evening, uh, Exec Jet 482 is with the ILS uh, 36 right. Exec Jet 482, runway 36 right, wind 06 at 04, clear to land. 36 right, we're cleared to land, Exec Jet 482. Alright, uh, landing clearance, or uh, landing checklist clearance is received. I'm going to slow it to 180. He said 160. There's the glide slope. We actually, uh, I didn't activate it. So I'm just going to manually fo follow it. Speed checks, put the gear down. Helps slow me down so I can put the flaps out. All right, gears down, three green. Speed checks, 15 going down, 15 indicated. Gonna go lower a little faster. We're past McGee, we can slow to approach speed. Put 35 out, 35 indicated. Flight director and yard amp to go. And the autopilot. We have the airport in sight. 
but I'm going to let it go a little further, just in case we lose visual. 140 on the approach speed. We're still a little bit above the glide slope, but we're catching up. To have the missed approach ready to go, just in case. Checks, flaps full, 40 indicated. All throttles off, all damp is off, flight director is off. Rates are suffering pretty bad. But you know, it might be worse. We're probably kind of lucky that uh, I'm the only airplane inbound at this exact moment. There's a lot of guys behind me, but if the, if the traffic was heavier, I probably would be in bigger trouble. All right, autopilot's done. Oh, look at that. Visibility dropped off. Heavy rain again. Frame rates are atrocious. This might be the worst ever. It makes it so hard. 300. Flight slope. Flight slope. Minimums. We're landing. We 100. Have the runway's made. Inner marker. 50. 40. 30. And this is South FedEx 503, just taking on the faster frequency, notice 1412, 4.15. Touchdown, spoilers deployed. Reversers are out. Because the frame rates were so... 60 knots. Wind On departure, on our jack. Reversers stood. No, because the frame rates were so bad, that was actually a really hard approach. Uh, we were occupied with setting the aircraft for takeoff. Uh, what was the... Um, I would say again for Southwest 2967. Southwest 2967, runway 36 left, wind 30 at 05, on departure, armor jacks, clear for takeoff. Copy the winds, clear for takeoff, Southwest, runway 36 left, Southwest 2967. All right, Papa. Exiting 42, cross runway 36 center and come to ground at 121.9. Cross 36 center, ground point niner on the other side, exec jet 482. Tower Delta 923, short 36 center, ready for departure. Delta 923, line up and wait for 36 center, come to crossing. Line up and wait 36 center for departure, United 9, or Delta 923. I never turn the fuel pumps back on, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna look left. We'll look right. There's an aircraft lining up and waiting. We're, uh, we're on Papa. We're crossing on Papa. Okay, so it's gonna be a right turn here. Just stop at Memphis ground, exec jet 482, we're clear of uh, the three sixes, we're going to signature. Check, ex excuse me, exec jet uh, 482, Memphis ground, taxi to the signature of VO via Charlie. Signature via Charlie for exec jet 482, thanks. Taxiing out. Boy, the frame rates are. This is painfully the worst ever. I know people, you guys have complained many times on my videos about frame rates, and it's all situational. Uh, this is my worst situation. I mean, this is actually not as bad traffic wise, but it's going to get worse. But, you know, there's a good amount of traffic on the ground here, and uh, bad weather. Bad weather just kills me. Um, and then I have scenery at this airport. So it's the trifecta of
frame rate killers. There's a guy departing. After landing spoilers are retracted, flaps are retracted. Landing lights are off, strobe lights are off. Marker beacons off, pumps off. That was never on. De ice and Peter Heat are off. And starter switches are off. That is the after landing checklist. Southwest here. What are we coming up on? This is, we're coming up on uh, Kilo. Okay, so I got a bit further to go. Wow, this is a big airport. Yeah, so with the combination of scenery, bad weather, and heavy traffic, get getting roughed. But we made it. We're on the ground. We're taxiing in. It was a nice uh, Memphis madness. I seem to be one of the lead aircraft in. But we're an hour into the event. I mean, definitely, I saw planes coming and going. I just happened to be at a little bit of a lull. There's a bunch of planes coming in behind me. American 1846, contact Memphis Tower, 119.7, we'll see you. I have to enter for American on Charlie 8. Yeah. I'm going to do a top-down view and see where I'm going. Yeah. Charlie 8 is across from where I enter, but it's on the left side. That was Charlie 6, so two more. This is Charlie 7. Here's Charlie 8 to the next left. That's Charlie 8 right there. So right in here is the entrance to the signature ramp. And as we enter the non-movement area, or the ramp area, we'll take the transponder and go to standby. And then we just got to come up here and find a parking space. I'm going to park in front of this building up here. I don't know if it matters now, but we're using that because my default scenery. Southwest 1248, uh, not at this point, but thank you anyway. This would be the signature building right here. There's no sign on it, but I feel like the scenery used to have a sign on it. And we'll bring her to a stop. Getting the front door treatment here. Oh, look, there is a signature sign on it. Signature flight support, look at that. It's just not on the uh, air side. All right, parking brake is set. Thanks for coming along on this uh, Memphis Madness event on this Saturday, March 14th. Hope you like and subscribe. Until next time, happy landings. All right, fuel cutoff one and two, beacon is off, the clock is stopped. One hour, five minutes.